President Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you... Oh. Hmm. What the... You're... a man? Hmm. Well, who are you? Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> Switch over to nanocommunication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? Huh? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. No. Hmm. Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Huh. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history. But my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation. 
staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? Picture a massive political vacuum, a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle, panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocela, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovic's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire Big Shell facility is the new Metal Gear. Would you say? No, I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? That's right. Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced? The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-Metal Gears are guarding a Metal Gear. Ironic, isn't it? 
That's not all. Arsenal Gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. You're not seeing the full picture. Hmm? Arsenal Gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. In short, the Arsenal system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriot's trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks, but Solidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating Arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. This is card four. It'll give you access all the way to Emma's location. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, Shell 1 Core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right, modeled after Foxdie. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Now, kill me. What the? There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Uh, do it! That's her role! Ah. Pull! No! Good! That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or is it... ex-president? The president! Why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will, there is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. 
Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. What are you? Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order as your commander-in-chief. I'm counting on you. Oh. The president is dead. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Where do we go from here? Your mission was to rescue the president and eliminate the terrorist threat. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the nuclear launch authority has shifted to the vice president, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the president to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The Colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. <sighs> Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? <sighs> You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the President didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Raiden, out. What's your status, Raiden? Snake, the President, he's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the President on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the President. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal gear. You knew about Arsenal gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal gear? Yeah, I did. It's exactly what the President and Ames described, a massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. There's no doubt that Arsenal gear is being built here. Then it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago? What really happened here? I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news, on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? 
I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. Small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero, so they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it! They set all this up just to nail you guys! No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with a perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it, then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Gerlukovich and his daughter Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Forget it. We're wasting time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emmerich... My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. Emma's probably being kept in filter chamber number two, on floor B1 of Shell 2's core. Raiden, locate Emma Emmerich and have her put the president's disc to use. Emma is on B1 of the Shell 2 core. The clock is ticking. Locate her before Arsenal gear goes online. Colonel, I want some background information on Emma Emmerich. I've got it right here, direct from the National Security Agency's personnel files. Apparently, she was involved in some sort of high-level project, but there's no details on that. Her record shows that she resigned from the agency two years ago. Emma Emmerich, full name Emma Emmerich Danziger. Members of her family call her E.E. E. After divorcing Hal Emmerich's father, her mother took Emma to England and raised her there. Danziger is her mother's maiden name, but she prefers Emmerich. After returning home to England, her mother married Robinson, a businessman. The following details are from a report filed with the NSA when she joined the agency. Just before graduating from high school, Emma injured Robinson in self-defense during an alleged assault on her person. As a result of this incident, she followed in the footsteps of her stepbrother, Hal Emmerich 
and left home to enroll in Oxford. It is believed that at this particular point in her life, she was extremely angered by the fact that her brother failed to protect her. Consequently, she lost all family connections and is very resentful. She seems to believe that her brother is to blame for everything. While attending Oxford, she was noted for her success in a deciphering event sponsored by British GCHQ. They may not be blood related, but she sure sounds like Otacon's sister. There's more. Raiden, do you recall a certain situation that's more or less become a legend among hackers? To refresh your memory, at the time, just about all of our nation's communications and information resources were concentrated at NSA in Fort Meade. In fact, NSA's basement facility operated round the clock to amass data obtained not only from public communications, but everything from satellite to wiretap operations as well. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that whoever controlled the NSA facility could move the world. On January 24th, in the year 2000, the facility suffered a total system shutdown for a 73-hour period. Did they ever figure out the cause? It's believed that a small group within the government had arranged the incident with the assistance of a notorious group of crackers. The result was a full review of NSA safety measures, which in turn led to the decision to shift the data gathering operations to an isolated location that would be safe from physical attack as well as cyber terrorism. And where might that be? My security clearance couldn't get me that information, but I did find out that one of the key members of the hacker group was none other than Emma Emmerich. Although she started off as a specialist in artificial intelligence and complex logic, Emma is now regarded as a computer genius. That would make her a prime candidate for recruitment in the intelligence community, wouldn't it? And knowing most of the intelligence agencies, I doubt fair play was a major concern in their recruiting efforts. Your assumption's correct. The government played on her weakness, her strong hate for Hal Emmerich, the brother who left her when she was six years old. She hates him that much? When she was six years old, Emma and her father were involved in a pool accident. She survived, but her father drowned. What did the police have to say about that? The report states it was an accidental death. Isn't that about the time that Otacon left his home and family? Exactly but I don't have any idea why he chose to do so. Does Emma blame Otacon for her father's death? I don't think so. Her hate seems to stem from the fact that she believes Otacon abandoned her. You see, although the two weren't directly related, they were said to be very close. It's rumored that sibling rivalry was what launched her career as a hacker. Four years ago, the government leaked her the details of the Shadow Moses incident. In doing so, they were able to recruit her for the NSA. I also have little doubt that they also used the NSA hacking affair as a means to convince her to cooperate. You think that her hate drove her to frame Snake and Otacon? That, I don't know. Emma's probably being... The rumors about Big Shell being a big cover-up are all true. Otacon? I had Snake check everything out. Sure, there's some facilities to clean up the pollution, but they're not running at full capacity. Don't you think it's funny that even though two years have gone by since the incident, they haven't managed to clean up all the crude oil? Of course, the media doesn't report that kind of thing. I think they're having fresh shipments of crude oil brought in to replace the stuff they've cleaned up. The story you were told about toxic chemicals being released if the plant were blown up also seems pretty fishy. I don't think it's actually true. Information is being suppressed on a huge scale. These guys seem to think that the new Metal Gear is worth all the effort and money they're spending on it. So I've been lied to all along. No, I think even your CO didn't know what was going on. And that's probably what he's been telling you. I didn't mean by the Colonel. I meant by you. Huh? We never lied to you. We just didn't tell you everything, that's all. <laughs> you know, you're a pretty interesting guy. You're just like Snake said. What did he say? That you're a weak, simple-minded, stubborn fool. A, a weak, simple-minded? Ah, oh, don't worry, he didn't mean anything bad by it. Nothing bad? 
Well, what could possibly be worse than that? That lying, useless, backstabbing, mincing son of a... Raiden, I'm his friend. I know him better than anyone else. I know he's not that kind of guy. Yeah, so what? And, uh, by the way, there's one more thing you should probably know about Snake. What? He's right here. Next to you? Yep. Did he hear... Every word. I'm... I'm just gonna get back to the mission now. Raiden, are you reading me? This is Atacan. What's your situation? Wet and miserable. This place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. E. Don't worry about her. I'll get her out. She's afraid of water. What? Yeah. When she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. That pretty much coincides with what the Colonel told me. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that E.E. E. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived the ordeal? Yeah, but my father didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. E.E. E. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore that she refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn, if she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? Well, it's still gonna take some time to repair the cam off. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what I can do. I suggest that you drum the map of the building into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. I'll do that.
Emma's probably being kept in filter. As the president mentioned, Metal Gear Ray was created as an anti-Metal Gear weapon. In the Shadow Moses incident, Ocelot returned with a disc containing data of the exercises that were held for Metal Gear Rex and the new nuclear warhead. What's more, he sold that data not only to the nuclear powers, but to other countries as well. Those nations that obtained the data have commenced their own Metal Gear research. Where does it go from here? What happens when the world is flooded with variations of Metal Gear? We'll probably be looking at an era similar to that of the nuclear arms race. That was one of the reasons we organized philanthropy. I understand that Fortune's father, Marine Commandant Scott Dolph, had the same misgivings. That's why he proceeded with the development of the anti-Metal Gear weapon, Metal Gear Ray. In fact, Ray alone can drastically redefine tactics when you consider its seafaring capacity to approach, strike, and break off from targets. I also believe that Ray was a solution for renewing interest in the Marines, whose role as a rapid response force has dwindled over the last few years. I did a quick inspection. Arsenal Gear's security system is similar to the antibiotic function of a living creature's immune system. Surveillance of the inner system is handled by periodic scans using a number of agents with the capacity for detecting data that doesn't belong in the system. Once the agents detect any invading data, the information is passed on to an antibody production system. From there, a program referred to as an antibody agent is autonomously produced to neutralize or eliminate the invading data. Added to that, there's a solid barrier existing between GW's optic neural net, its physical and logical base, and the other general nets. Referred to as the bit-brain barrier, this wall is a filtering system for preventing the infiltration of foreign data. This security system makes it very difficult to attack the system from the outside. I'm afraid nothing can be done without sufficient preparation. If you hold down the L1 button, you can move while holding your gun. Should be an effective move when you need to break through some enemies. By setting C4 explosives within close proximity of each other, you can set off a chain of explosions with a single blast. Bulletproof equipment will not protect your enemies from a grenade's blast or shrapnel. A well-placed grenade could turn the tide of battle to your advantage. The less you manipulate a remote-controlled missile, the faster it'll travel. Use this, and you'll be able to deliver your remote-controlled missile over a greater distance. Remember that the missile's range is limited by its fuel capacity. Always remember that unnecessary maneuvers can cost you fuel. Right, push the R2 or L2 button while in first-person view to strafe right and left, respectively. Colonel. Did you hear the truth about the Shadow Moses incident? Yeah. Snake wasn't a terrorist. You look thrilled. Huh? Well, yeah. So you just believe everything that he told you then? What did you say? Don't trust him. He isn't in the simulation. Simulation again? What exactly are you talking about? Don't put your trust in him. Just carry out your duties to the best of your abilities. Do you understand, Raiden? Colonel, why did Ocelot murder the President? They disagreed, probably. Exactly the same. What? As the Shadow Moses incident. Don't be foolish. Are you sure about that? Ames' death, appearance of the ninja, the President's death, and now the virus. You're reading too much into things. That's right, Jack. You're tired. Oh. Raiden, don't waste your time thinking unnecessary thoughts. Invest all your energy instead in carrying out your duties. Colonel, did you find anything about the Patriots? No, not yet. I can't find data on them anywhere. But the President is... Jack, there is no data. Colonel, you know something, don't you? No, I don't know anything. I need a little more time.
Use the right stick to make high speed turn. You need to catch your breath somewhere before your O2 gauge runs out. Still ticking, huh? Unfortunately, hell had no vacancies. just ahead. She is of no use to us now, but she served as well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Emma's alive? She was some time ago, but the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a mermaid now. What? Did you really think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again! I didn't do it! <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? This is no ordinary nuclear bomb. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics to generate heat-insulated compression. It was a top-secret project initiated by the current president, and Solidus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We were labeled as killers, responsible for the mass murder of civilians as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word, turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the Earth and destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane? We might be the only ones telling the truth. Final check for activating Arsenal has been completed. All Arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like Arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! 
You're still hoping that the girl can install that virus you're carrying around, aren't you? You know? <sighs> it's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. That isn't seawater, you know. It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Once you fall in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. Show me what you've got. Anticipating the trajectory of your shots from the minute movements of your muscles. There's no such thing as a perfect system, though. There must be a way to throw him off and land a shot. Remember what Vamp said. That light reaction tank is a death trap. Make sure you don't fall in there accidentally. Looks like he's anticipating the incoming bullet's trajectory from the movement of your muscles. Relax, though. He doesn't have you all figured out. Right. Don't use the target locking function. Vamp will anticipate your trajectory if you do, and you'll never manage to land a shot. <laughs>
Colonel, they've apparently completed the final check procedure for Arsenal gear. Find Emma on the double. You've got to get her to install the virus program that the President gave you. When you find her, take her to the computer room on level B2 in the core of Shell 1. Snake, did you catch all that? I didn't make it on time. Arsenal's going active. Yeah, I heard. The hostage rescue's gonna have to wait. I'm going after Emma. We'll secure the computer room. Looks like we can't install the virus program without Emma. Can't your partner do it? I would if I could, but the security for this system is no joke. I need more time. That's why we need her. Understood. I'll make sure you have your family reunion. Uh, What's up? A lot of years have passed between E.E. E. and me. Then you should see her, right? I don't have the right to see her. We can talk about this later. Raiden, I think you'd better get moving. Emma's in the locker room to the north, right? I'm on it. Thank you. 